Winbridge product. This is called the Original S388 Voice Amplifier. This is a wireless system. Pretty cool. I've been kind of wondering if they were going to come out with something with a wireless headset. So let's check this little puppy out. So we do have, of course, our amplifier unit. Okay. And let me just give you a close up. So I'm going to have to be bopping back and forth here, but this is what our main unit looks like. Okay, and it does have the strap hooks as well. This is the wireless headset part. Now, this is actually really uh, a unique setup because you can wear the headset if you want to, and then you're completely hands free, or you can just simply unclip it. You just rotate it and you can straighten out the mic and talk right into the mic and use it as a regular handheld mic. Some people do not actually like headsets. I know in the beginning, a uh, number of years back, I hated the idea of headsets. It's like, I want a real microphone on stage, right? And um, then once I got into the headsets, it's like, I guess these are pretty cool after all. You know, I mean, and I got used to using it. Um, it's still kind of weird sometimes to me with a headset, uh, as a singer at least, because I have to watch a little bit more carefully how I do things, but I also find that um, I'm not as loud. You know what I mean? Like when I'm singing, I'm not quite as loud as I would be, you know, yelling into a mic, right? Because you're holding the mic, you're used to something like that. But as a you know guitar player, I don't have the freedom to walk around and play and sing at the same time unless I'm using a headset. But if I have the mic in a stand, yeah, I'm okay. But the problem is too that I've discovered over the years back and forth with this stuff is that you tend to move your, your levels in and out a lot with a regular mic, right, in your hand. Whereas this is in a fixed position. Once it's set up, you're good. You just gotta learn to still be more vocal into the mic and then your sound engineer has to control your levels. So you can work it out, you know what I mean? But I do like this idea because there are people who are speakers that don't like headsets on their head. It just feels wrong to them or they just find it uncomfortable. So the advantage of you know being able to just simply twist this downward and yak into it, that's perfect because that gives the person that ability. So great idea, Winbridge. I think that was really nice. Um, so that's, a, that's definitely a really good bonus there. So uh, we also have, of course, a charge cable that is type C USB, uh, as well as a two amp charger as well. I believe this is two amp, or is it three? Um, <laughs> I forgot. Um, three amps actually which is actually pretty good because that's a faster charge time. It's a, it's a rapid charger, so you've got three amps worth of power being generated here. So that's actually really good because most USB chargers are about one amp to maybe two amps um, that are in this size of a block. This is a three amp. Um, then of course we have our strap. Now the strap of course is for hanging this thing around your waist. Um, although for me, I think because it's a wireless system, I actually wouldn't want to use the strap. I don't want this thing hanging around me, you know, because the other thing is too, is if you want to get um, louder, you have to watch the distance between the microphone and the amplifier, which we have found out with some of their other units too, is that when you're too close to the amp, it's going to feed back at high volume. So you got to kind of be careful about that. But nonetheless, if your level is under control and not feedbacking, you can still, you know, adjust this to the length you need and clamp her on and away you go, right? Wear it around your waist. <coughs> so, uh, next part is the manual. Now the manual here is, is pretty detailed, all right? So we do have quite a bit of information, but don't freak out, it's not that scary, okay? It's just the, they, they do it this way, which I think is great because then you can just kind of like compact fold it up like so. And it's like, perfect. Now I did find one error in the manual that kind of like, all right, because I'm trying to bind this headset to the, to the amplifier at first. I'm like, that is not working. <laughs> okay. Um, cause they say to, you know, to turn on the headset, right? You got to push and hold 
and keep it there, but you got to turn the amplifier on first, obviously. Um, and it puts a little uh, mode indicator up and then you're bound. Well, that's actually incorrect information in the manual that needs to be corrected. So we're going to show you exactly how that's done today. All right. Now, what I want to do too is I want to get you a bit more of a close up on what's going on with the box here. So that's where I'm going to move my camera. And um, so bear with me. It's going to be an instant change for you. Okay, so let's turn on the amplifier. It's going to greet you with the word high. And it's going to give you a quick flash of your charge rate too. Now it does take about two hours to recharge the headset mic from basically dead. And about three hours the same for the amplifier. Now they will come with quite a bit of a charge in them already. So you can basically take it out of the box, test everything out, make sure it all works great. And then throw it on the charger. Now they only give us one charger and one cable. So you can only charge one item at a time which is something that I think they should have like a Y split type cable uh, and one charge block or a charge blocking cable for each item. So you can charge them both at the same time. Otherwise it's like, you know, waiting forever. Okay, so that's something that I think should also be additionally added to the kit, um, you know, as well as correcting that error in the manual. Okay, so if we just initially paid attention to what they said about the mic, you just push and hold, and it should switch the display on the amp. They say a long press, but it doesn't do anything, okay? So, we uh, have to turn the mic on first, actually, okay? Press and hold the mode button, a couple seconds, and you'll see that there's a flashing uh, little indicator that says like UI on it, and now our headset is actually bound. So now we can, uh, we should be able to just turn up the volume here. Now I'm at 14. Now where the microphone is placed to your mouth is going to determine too how loud this thing can become. They say it's 20 watts and you guys know by now how I feel about all those ratings, right? So anyways, um, but these units are quite loud when it comes to playing black music. That I will definitely give them. So in that case, I'd say, well, they're kind of a little bit more realistic. Now, what you're hearing now is my voice through the amplifier, obviously. Okay. Now, they say you can play and sing along and, and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, as far as speech goes, um, it's, it's fairly clear, I would say. Um, now, in the manual, they also cover that you can actually bind one headset to five of these amplifiers. The thing is, you're going to have to buy five complete kits. Now, this would be handy if you're in an extremely large area and you need to really get out to your crowd, right? Because this is only going to get you so far, right? Um, then you could strategic, strategically set up five of these amplifiers, put them all at the levels where you need, right? And, of course, again, watch your distance. If you're too close to the amp, especially at louder volumes, it will feedback. So you'll have to figure that out for volume versus distance and all that. But with being able to have the ability to go up to five amplifiers and then create a huge room, this actually does save you, especially if there's no equipment on site, it does save you a lot of money than, you know, buying a professional PA system that puts out 10,000 watts kind of thing, you know what I mean, right? And you can get pretty good clarity with these things um, if you're just talking, right? Um, now, as far as the whole... Uh, playing and singing goes, well, let's give you a little bit of an example anyways. You're not going to hear the guitar through the amp, but you'll definitely hear me. USB stick. Now, I formatted one under XFAT, um, and what I'm going to do just to save some time on the video, trust me, the recording feature works fantastic. To play, play back the audio, you can either use the mode button or the record button to play it back once you've stopped your recording and saved. But as far as, you know, playing back music goes, just simply plug it in. It says USB. One, two. Starts out automatically play.
So I find with these amplifiers, honestly, when it comes to playing back music files, these things get really loud. Okay, so they do have quite a bit of power there. Um, so fantastic that way. Um, they're not as loud on the speech side, but you can get quite a bit of volume out of them when you have that mic close. Just don't put it too close to your mouth because then you get that that P plosion stuff going on, which can really annoy people. Um, but you know, because cer certain letters are what creates what's called a plosion, right? And uh, it's kind of annoying. But uh, you'll figure it out. But you can still get lots of volume out of these things and still not get the plosion stuff going on. Because the windscreens on these mics do actually work really well. Okay? So we're paused right now. So we just did it. Now, if I had more songs on here, of course, we could actually just, you know, go ahead with that and go fast forward, rewind stuff. Um, but anyways, you can play multiple files, right? But I, I play my own stuff, like I said, because of YouTube rules and stuff, right? Now, um, if we're going to do this... If we go off of mode, we go back to another screen like this, okay? And at this point, if we wanted to, we could actually press and hold the, the mode button again. We got our flashing thing. You know what? I'm going to do a recording for you guys. What the heck? And we are live! So we press quickly record. Quickly. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. That stops it, saves it. Now... Trying to remember how to replay this thing. Well, that's going to re record another file. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, yes, long press. Well, that's going to re record another file. One, two, one, two, three, four. Quickly. Hey, one, well. two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Okay. And it'll keep playing that in a continual loop and unless you set the record path or the playback path because you can have it to, to, you know, go through once or just continually repeat kind of thing, right? Anyways, so the supported audio formats are MP3, WAV, WMA, APE, and FLAC. Now, with this uh, other cable here, I think we missed that. It was here. They gave us an eighth inch um, cable for hooking up a, you know, like an MP3 player or your phone direct. That. So, there it is. That's what was hiding. So we also get this cable. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was my bad. Um, so we just plug this into the side, okay? Right in here, we've got our charge port, our USB port, auxiliary in. Auxiliary in, of course, obviously for your auxiliary device, be it a phone or your computer. Maybe you want to use this as an amplified speaker, a cheap solution. I mean, some people don't care about audio quality on their computer for playing video games or watching, you know, listening to a speaker. They don't want the high-end stuff where they can't afford it. So, hey, this is a cheap solution. It does everything, including works as a computer speaker with the auxiliary port and then plug into the back of your speaker output on your computer and voila, you got an amplified speaker. 